What's going on everyone? Today is day 38 of the 90 day my own challenge. Uh, today was a crazy day, but I feel like I start every single video with that anymore. Uh, oh, this was a crazy, this crazy day. I'm kind of getting like desensitized to it. Uh, but it really was. Got in the office at 6 a.m. today and uh, it was a full, full day. You know, of course, it's all self-inflicted preparing for uh, vacation tomorrow. We're gonna be gone from Thursday until Tuesday. I'll still be making videos on Thursday, Friday, and Monday, Tuesday, though, um, even while I'm gone. Uh, just hopefully we'll be sitting on a, on a beach somewhere or, or something, I guess. Trying to enjoy myself instead of worrying about what's, uh, what's going on here or uh, not really worrying, but um, it's a really cool feeling when you feel like you're missing out. Like, it's not worry. It is, I feel like because I'm gone, I'm going to be missing out on some really exciting stuff that's going to be happening. So I'm excited to leave, but um, also really excited to stay. Um, you know, so I think that's a, a really good place to be in and of course feel extremely blessed uh, to be in that position. Uh, trying to think of big things that happened today. Uh, I cold called a lot again. Um, I've, my cold calling has decreased a little bit as I mentioned in a previous video because we got that 18 unit full renovation going on. Excuse me. And I don't want to set us up for failure so I don't want to take on another huge gut project. Um, until I know that we've got that one, you know, firmly within our within our grasp. Um, you know, the renovation project's going exactly as planned as of right now. But um, you know, I'm gonna wait till we get a little bit further in before I really start making some some aggressive offers um, on some other stuff. Um, but that that's just multifamily, um, single family, so we're just taking along like normal. I looked at a few houses today, and uh, yeah, just continuing to buy everything we can essentially. Um, I, I had a few, uh, I was talking with a friend the other day, which is, I guess, I think what I made this video about, um, that I think everyone goes through time periods or phases where you feel like all you have time for is answering emails. And uh, I wanna share something that's really helped me in terms of like, you know, unattaching myself from that beast that is my email inbox. And the first thing, of course, is keeping, like, you have to, actually keep control of it. And what I mean by that is you have to actually, every single day, clear it so it is completely empty. Um, you know, with Gmail inbox, there's you know, a way that you can snooze different things until the weekend or the evening, uh, but just a way to just get it out of your sight, out of, your, out of sight, out of mind is kind of my philosophy. If it's not urgent, it's getting put away somewhere. And so I'll actually categorize um, all my emails um, and kind of everything that I have going on within my inbox as well as even my to-do list in like morning, which is usually means it's extremely urgent. It's one of the most valuable things I can be doing and not just urgent and important, but actually just just straight up important. Um, and then, you know, cause that in the morning time is really like when I like doing my cold calling, when I like doing my outreach, when I like doing my more creative, um, I guess processes. Uh, I don't really like how I said that, but um, my creative work really that requires a, theoretically more brain power. It's not just running the business. It's generating new business and Then of course for the afternoon um, and evening I'm you know playing different things that are gonna take less energy um, Such as just responding to general items um, or things that are urgent But you know, it's not gonna kill the person if the you know, if they have to wait a day to a day to get it um, so I'm categorizing in the morning and then in the afternoon, which again, I'll, I'll, I'm trying really not to look at my inbox. I know it's really tough to do, but really try not to look at it until noon. Um, and then taking care of those afternoon items. And then of course, go to the gym, come back. And then uh, at night is when I completely clear the inbox every single night, which means eat and then do some late night work to just absolutely just knock all these little five minute to do items out of the way. And a, kind of a, a trick that I picked up, um, I'm not sure where I read it, but I can't take credit for it. Um, is actually, you know, with Gmail and different inboxes, you can actually schedule to send all your emails like at 8 a.m. in the morning. I would highly encourage you to do that because when you send it, like if I were to send an email right now, there's a good chance that somebody else is working just as hard as I am or just as late, and I'm going to get a response either tonight or first thing tomorrow morning. Um, I would much rather it get sent and kind of get, I'm sure they're getting other emails kind of lost in the mix. 
so that I don't get a response until the afternoon of tomorrow. So it kind of like, it kind of keeps my inbox, at least in the morning, fairly, fairly open, um, unless there's just something that somebody absolutely needs, which of course, maybe that's an item that I actually would be working on um, in the morning that isn't just urgent, but is actually, actually important. And then recently I've been going even a step further and there are certain items that I'll just say, no, this, this is gonna have to wait till Saturday or Sunday before I can, can, I can get to it. So actually like just snoozing emails or putting them into a Google task that actually isn't gonna get looked at until weekend. So I have a Google task as well that's categorized as like morning, afternoon, evening, and then weekend work. Um, so just kind of breaking it down to like how urgent it is. And at, the reality is that if it really is that important and you missed it because you weren't looking at your inbox, someone's gonna pick up the phone and call you. Like it's it's very, very rare that someone's gonna send you three repeat emails without actually just calling. So um, if the sky is falling, you'll you'll get a phone call, at least from, from what I've seen. So um, I just wanted to share that, uh, just kind of a productivity hack, something that I really like using. Um, you know, I, I know that uh, a lot of people have like different ways to like manage that beast, but that is your, your inbox, but you know, at the end of the day, like you need to control it, it can't control you. And if that means that you need to sit down for 30 minutes at night, every single night, um, in order to like have your day planned and actually be able to, you know, actually be able to tackle those important non-urgent items in the morning, like that's that's just what it takes. Um, especially when you know at night it's a lot easier to just sit down and kind of just look, you know, go through those five minute items um, that you know people just need quick responses to. So thanks everybody for watching. Uh, today's day 38. Uh, the $500,000 challenge is over. We've exceeded that challenge as of, as of now. Um, and, you know, continue to raise more money. Got a lot more coming in. And, uh, of course, we're always hiring. So right now we're looking for, you know, an acquisition, single family acquisition person to bring on board. Uh, we've had a few interviews already. A lot of really strong potential candidates. And we're just going to keep, uh, keep trucking away. Thanks everybody for watching. And I'll be back tomorrow.